I'm here to talk about creating pop art. I'm using Photoshop Elements. I'm using version 13. A lot of the more recent versions allow you to do this. It works with some photos, not all of them. We're going to see what we can do here. There's a couple of things we can do here. Um, when you do this, I suggest using a square picture. It works best. I have done this a number of times here. Uh, you can get something that's like a Warhol effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the guided and uh, you have different ways of views here you could say before and only here and I'll go before and after let's do it horizontal okay and then I'm on the, th the guided here and then I go to photo play here I go to pop art and then you choose two styles here I'm going to stick with this one here convert and then I could add color and then I could say duplicate image I've got that. I'm not really crazy about that. I'm going to hit the cancel, okay? And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to flip over to the expert view here. I've got the picture here. I'm going to enlarge it. It's control plus. For those of you on a Mac, it's command plus. You can do a few things here. I'm going to do filter. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go into artistic here. You can do some really interesting things here. I'm going to go to cutout. And I've got that there, dry brush here. Um, you can experiment with this a lot. And I'm going to give this a few different levels here. So it gets a little more realistic, edge simplicity. Go with this here, edge fidelity. Um, and let's just pretend we like that. We say OK. And then we have that in there, OK? Now, if I want to change the color of this, I could go into Enhance. And then I could go to Adjust Color here, Adjust Hue Saturation, or the Command Control U. You're going to get a little dialog box here. I can colorize. I can change the colors, make it monochromatic, make it more saturated. And I can go into this, I'm trying to get something that's a really bright yellow here and saturate that and then I can make it darker or lighter and I'm just going to say okay now I'm going to go into the thing here I'm going back and forth on these tabs here I go into guided okay and then I'm going to go into here before and after ver I, I prefer the horizontal and you can just see what it is and what I'm going to do to make this more better for those of you watching this on the screen I'm going to enlarge this a bit I'm going to go into pop art now and then I could click on this one here and then it will say posterize the image not bad not bad not perfect either um, I the, the neon glow I'm not crazy about that if I want to get out of it I just undo Control or Command Z. I go into Duplicate Image. I've got this all done, so I say Done. And then if I go into Expert, I just want to show you a couple of very quick things here. It has created a multitude of layers here. So if I want to change, let's say, the color of this layer here, I go onto the Move tool. I click on that. It shows it's selected there. And then I change the color. I can go to colorize and I don't like that color but let's say I want to go into another hue I'm changing things here and then let's say I want to make this let's say a bright blue really saturated lighter or darker here and I say okay not a perfect job trying to show you what you can do with these things in elements and then if I were to do this again on the guided watch this I will go into pop art again here and then I'm gonna go to this one here you can get really crazy with this thing here convert image mode you got that add color and I just say duplicate image then you're gonna end up with something really interesting you could go through this through many levels there so have fun doing this.